Hi there, um, this is Vanessa of B & Co. Um, some of you are uh, wanting to, for me to do a video of this bracelet. Um, some of you have asked me to do other videos, but I'm just starting now. Um, okay, some of you are getting this bracelet really easily and others of you are not. Um, so I'm doing this for you guys. Um, okay, so first question is um, that I got was um, how much fabric? I I really am only using one inch strips of the jersey fabric and um, it is um, the width of the jersey fabric is 60 so it's one inch by 60 um, so you really only need three inches width of um, or length I guess of this um, fabric you only need to ask for three inches um, so it would be really minimal to make this okay what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our strips um, and we're going to take our two edges here our two ends okay and we're going to take scissors and this is my first time doing this so uh, bear with me if I say a lot of ums okay notice how I made the slit right here um, Next one, we're going to do the same thing over here. We don't need to be too precise. I'm not needing to be too precise. Okay, so now I have my two ends um, of my jersey fabric. Let me move this over. There we go. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take one side, my right hand side, and my left hand side, put my right hand side underneath my left hand side so that the slits align. Okay. And because I put it underneath, I'm going to take this end of the fabric um, and go on top, okay, of my right hand side. This will make sure that you get a. Um, <laughs> that you get a knot. This is why I don't do video stuff because my daughter's in the background uh, singing or doing something. She gets her voice from me. Um, okay, this creates a little bit of a knot, okay? You just kinda see that knot right there. Okay, um, next what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do that for all of the strips that you need. If you do a four finger um, bracelet, you'll need more strips. You'll need three strips, three to four strips. If you're doing a two finger one, you'll only need, um, I would say probably at the most two, um, depending on how big your wrists are. Okay, um, I'm going to take my, one of my tails and put it in my hand. Why is this? Let me see. Oops, that's too close. Okay. Um, we're going to put this in right here uh, in my hand. So I'm going to take the rest of the strip and I'm going to um, weave it behind my pointer, in front of my middle, behind my ring, and in front of my pinky. Okay? Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around my pinky, in front of my ring, behind my middle, and in front of my pointer. Okay, this is for the forefinger. Now you still have, this is kind of loose, right? And your um, pointer is just the only thing that's behind it is the tail. So you're going to go around, big loop, and in front. Okay, and let that just sit there. Okay, now, next step is to just take underneath, your underneath, um, this thing <laughs> loop and go to the top go to the top go to the top and now you have your first set of loops okay next hey someone went to the bathroom yay okay next we're going to go around again okay loop it around and you're going to do it again okay do it again do it again and again. Okay, do you see what we're doing here? Now you're going to go around, just make sure those go back down, go around again. Okay, that's for the four finger loop. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the two finger one, and then you guys can figure out the three finger one on your own. Okay, two finger. I still like to hold it with my thumb so that my tail doesn't go anywhere. 
go behind my ring, in front of the pinky, behind the pinky, in front of the ring, and then back loop around both of them. Okay? Now, because I want it to be kind of, of a tighter, um, a tighter braid, I will hold my fingers together and I will loop over. Yeah. Oh, uh, I gotta take a pause, people, because I gotta wipe my daughter's bottom. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Uh, sorry about that. Hands are clean because I helped her wipe her bottom. Okay, here we go. So now we've got our first loops, right? We already see already this tangled mess in the back, but you're gonna go around again, okay? And this is like the third time I've done it. And I like to tighten it every time that I go, okay? Just so that I get a nice tighter weave on it, okay? And there you start seeing the braid, okay? But it's still kind of loose, so I'm actually going to let go of my tail here, and I'm actually going to start pulling it just slightly, okay? And it makes it even tighter, okay? Um, <laughs> okay, um, anyway... You, you guys asked for a video, so you're getting one, and you're probably never going to ask for one ever again. Um, here we go. Just keep going until you get enough of a braid going, okay? Katie, stop talking about poop. Mom, that. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, do you guys see this? It's happening here. We've got our weave here. Um, I'm actually going to just stop right now. Um, this obviously is not big enough for my wrist or anyone's wrist, um, but we're gonna get to the knot too, and that will just kind of blend in with your bracelet. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to end it. Okay, you're gonna take your finger. You're gonna take your fingers out. And you're going to hold right here. And I'm just going to take this off so it's easier. Okay. Um, and you're going to take your tail and go through both loops. And literally just pull it. Okay. And now you've got this little braided thing. Okay. Then you're going to, obviously, because it'll be bigger, you'll just go like this and tie it. I guess this could be for like a little kid. Um, and you'll just tie it twice like that. Okay? There you have that. And then you just cut off the tails. And voila! You have it! Yay! Spirit fingers! Okay, so here, this is more of a normal size, but this is a little one. Just an, an example of what to do. Okay, you guys asked for it, so I did it. Sorry there was so much poop involved in it, but um, uh, anyway, next till next time. I don't know if I'll ever do this again, unless I get enough begging. So, I'll talk to you later. Bye.